All right, we're going to try this again. I had to go delete some stuff and try this again. Uh, it has not been the easiest for me to record and post to YouTube, so I've just been going for what's easiest and posting to my Facebook uh, since I'm being stalked there anyway. And that's a whole nother, not a whole nother thing, but that's just coming to an end. All this shit's being exposed and coming out. And Spirit is definitely letting me know and being it as it be, be revealed. Excuse me. So, a uh, few key things I've been going over, of course, um, as much as my last videos, um, it almost feels repetitive to us uh, readers at times, our channelers, clairvoyants, um, audio clairvoyant. <coughs> It almost seems repetitive to us, like, almost felt like, um, oh, well, it's going to be the same message, and uh, it just kind of feels uncomfortable, but, you know, spirit is definitely working with me, and it just, it has not been the same exact experience, it's just kind of, you know, as we are finding out, um, just closing out these chapters, and, and exposing these, um, these false ass people okay and hopefully you are exactly um doing your due diligence and working on yourself and healing yourself and all that great stuff so let's start off with some notes that i did back in March, april this would be april 4 15 21 the tower Leo full moon don't don't let pride get in the way page of pentacles so that would be going from if I'm not mistaken that was a channel message through star moon angel 111 uh, going from a knight of pentacles to a page of pentacles which is actually going backwards which is the worst only short thing you can do but the thing is for you to recognize it heal it and deal with it and uh, grow through it not to suppress it not to step over it and not deal with it because it's not going to deal with the actual problem <sighs> Knight of Pentacles. I mean, Knight of Swords. Or it was, it probably was the Knight of Swords to the Page of Pentacles. Either way, that was kind of like a, you know, going backwards and not forwards. Supposed to go from like a king, I mean, from a knight to a king to an emperor. Really. That's when you know you step into your true divinity um, as your bloodline is supposed to be. And also been talking about um, how breaking generational curses um, are the best thing to do to heal and promote growth for generations to come. And those of you who have doing and delving in black magic um how you have uh cursed generations not only this generation but generations to come that have to deal with the backlash of your actions in the here and now and speaking of the here and now we have been talking about how past present and future is all right now how time really doesn't exist it's just been something that we've been taught so taking action right now and changing right now would be the best thing to do as far as um, progress is uh, necessary and you know it's just sometimes we have to own up to our shit and not really give a fuck about what nobody else is think, think or say or whatever you know uh, actions they might take to uh, throw darts chunk rocks and hide their hands type shit 
y'all know me, if I'm fucking wrong, I fucking apologize, or do whatever I have to do, you know what I'm saying, take my karma as it may be, shit, I'm just doing what spirit has guided me to do, Knight of Swords, 4, 19, 21, <clears throat> Ascended Masters with Love Child, or Children, oh shit, Children, it says walking, walking this earth, solar and up healing and spending in the right way, bring in the new energy, setting my <laughs> setting my ass down. They said, Oh shit, that actually fucking happened. Yeah, they did. Anything across all the children. Um, Okay, so this is more so on a personal note, but the part that is not on the personal note is how we are bringing new earth in. So bringing new earth in is pretty much learning how to coexist with ourselves so we can do that with others as well. Uh, no discrimination, no matter the background, no matter the position, whether it be on a, on the side of the freeway, side of a building, or in a corporation, um, we are all walking in bodies around this bitch. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, another personal, I mean not personal, but another channel message I got from a reader. Um, I don't know if she was going to say her name, but I've been saying her name. But y'all will know if you really yeah, need the information or whatever. Y'all will find it. It will come to you. But somebody have a no shield e meeting a angry alien. Um, I don't know who's not going to have a shield or who's going to be angry or who is the alien or what is the alien. Um... Sedona, Arizona is key information for somebody. Uh, <sighs> first into checking body and close. Spiritual I don't control it, the spirit of being or being in the field. Around water being stand manifestation world numerology. Two six six angel number two six six. Somebody's first name fucking like I'll buy her. Okay, uh okay, same date. Okay. And there was something else I wanted to share. I've been dealing a lot, a lot of uh, 
because y'all know it's cuffing season. I've been dealing with so fucking much. It's not even fucking funny. And I'm really dealing with others' emotions, my emotions, of course, as an empath. Um, it fucking sucks sometimes. Um, oh, stink. High feelings to, um, understand self to understand self. Stink. Gray. Um, Totem animal, oh owl, totem animal, stingray, um, pink flamingo. Okay. <clears throat> what else have I been talking about? How about the foolish got my paper together before I even started this. Right? Because I really don't think it's on here. I've been talking a lot. I don't know. I'm just going to touch on this real quick. <clears throat> About King James. How King James was written in the Bible. How um, it was made to really discriminate and put down the feminine energy, also in return, um, creating a uh, uh, injustice effect between the masculine and the feminine, because that also brought all women's rights. Um, but in ancient Egypt, what men don't understand is the household was ran by the women not just so much the household dude like the household was kingdoms it wasn't just the actual house it was kingdoms and you know of course men were the muscle because how their body mass is different from the feminine energy right okay five 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 a need for change uh uh definitely need for change uh look up angel number five 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 um uh, to tear down a relationship, erase the babies out of hate the ladies type thing. Um, really calling these masculines to step into their divinity as they should be and not having like polygamy relationships because um, these are made because men have made it to where it has been a toxic situation because the women are supposed to be Women are the seer, right? Women are the, women. The feminine energy are more so the oracle, and that also ties into the male energy, also not being tied into the yin and yang in a balanced way. They have not. Um, they have been neglecting their feminine energy, and then also through uh, childhood trauma that we all have experienced in some type of way, fashion, or form, either uh, energetically on the soul level or on in a physical level through like rape and molestation and those traumas and unhealed wounds and even financially uh being abused as well right um saying these government systems or uh people of power that have money that use money as a, a, a gain of power and control uh whether it be a person or a a kingdom or what not um, you know a political system a free governmental system which not that's not what we're living in today uh, but you know there are different government tiers uh, if you go look up the, and do your research the different government tiers is what pissed me off I can't really sit and listen to a government class because of the understanding that I have in the connection is how it goes from uh, the spiritual and how they broken down and divided it through uh, psychology to um, 
you know, like the pol political shit, the Democrat and all that, to these um, systems as far as um, CEOs and corporations and things like that, you know, medicine, um, and all these, you know, so-called movie stars and whatnot, <clears throat> all for their personal gain and um, causing conflict within families, within those systems, and of course, the most that we deal with, it comes from first our inner conflict and going and getting out of these systems and learning how to heal to, in order to create new generational wealth and healing is the best wealth you can ever gain so in saying that we talk about that <clears throat> Just some things I touched on. Um, Spirit, help me out a little bit, please. And thank you. It's good. Love, gratitude, appreciation, and respect. And honor. Um, I think I did. I did not like this year. I do not like that shit. I was uh, filming a couple of weeks ago. <coughs> uh, sometime, I think before last month or early last month of September, right? And I was, it was broad daylight. I was sitting by, you know, like the shrubbery. It's like a lot of trees around here, right? And I was recording and I heard something kind of keep moving. I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, it's making a lot of fucking noise. I was like, as long as I come up here. Well, guess what? It came hell fucking close. And it was like at the edge of the woods and it started growling. I was like, what the fuck? So, lightly got my shit. And I fucking did. <laughs> I got a little bit close, you know, further away from the edge of the woods. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I always keep something on me, but of course, you know. And it was funny too because the growl, like I felt the growl through my body. I was like, oh hell no. It wasn't even the fact that I was scared. It was just the way it felt. And y'all know it's the difference between actual being and uh, the feeling of something. Our guardian angel, body angel, ancestor, guys, I want to send that shot. It's worth uh, yeah, my y'all, punch your mama. <clears throat> Universe, come to make you with the fire. Please and thank you. Can't wait. Give me all negative energy. Be with me in space. Heal, cleanse, and protect us. Please and thank you in this space. Make it safe. So, and that does include Archangel Michael, Raphael, and all the above. For those who are in question of anything. Um, and I've been giving videos on the root chakra and today I did one on the is it solar yeah the solar chakra okay and how the root chakra you know that's pretty much based in fear in which they want us to stay in or repetitive cycles just work 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 you know you know you may have money and doing toxic behaviors, indulging in uh, drugs, or whether, whatever it is, and, um, you know, keeping you in those lower level energies and using, black magic is being thrown around like there's no fucking tomorrow, I don't understand it. And then the solar plexus, so... Most people, and then, then I'm going to do a video as well as how, you know, just working the stages, you know, um, survival, dependence, 
is pretty much the baby stage so it's like the red chakra right and then the solar plexus is more like um interaction and whatnot of how you interact with different people and you know relationships um your creativity um those type of things and then your solar plexus of course are like um I think too much deep in detail into that one quite yet, but from what I know and understand, it's like our soul ties to people. Um, and then, you know, most people just work in those three operations, and then they don't even really get to explore true spirituality by going into their heart chakra because they're just stuck in those three level lower vibration, which is. Which is just the three lower levels. Um, like Earth. Um, let me see. Earth, Sun, and. Uh, I want to say in so much the moon. Because you think about the Sun as the solar plexus, the other side of that would be the moon. So. If you get that depiction, it's just the lower half. And not talking about, like, um, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the, you know, the chakra right here, and then third eye chakra, and then the crown chakra, and then, of course, the aura, right? Okay? And, yeah, that's what I was talking about. How um, you can use the gems to cleanse and your spiritual baths and whatnot um of course jotting down uh dreams uh your feelings uh certain events so you can have a timeline of how to change those events every year for your self-love and progression and how you can use these different elements and um of course symbology do research on that um, and I would also definitely recommend to do research on demonology as well as angels because you want to know what energy is trying to attack you or has attached to you or if some, you know, a loved one or some other, something like that. Um, there's water demons, I'm pretty sure elementals and stuff like that of different levels. Um... It, it's really in, in deep details of all of these things of what you need to do. I mean, to just better, best off, um, <clears throat> you know, really healing and promoting that growth. I mean, it's a really vast amount of knowledge that we are unaware of. Uh, besides tail reading, it's it's all of this plus more that you know still that we don't really understand or are becoming to learn and you know like our Akashic records getting to that and people tapping into our Akashic records um and it's like you know dude God knows everything so it's like once you have an understanding of God that really is in and everything and God is always aware of what's going on. You know, God knows how to weigh your heart and know somebody's true intention. So, you know, that's why tarot is. It's a heads up. It's a, you know, and even in that, you still have free will. You can't control people. So, because uh, there's backlash in trying to control people's free will or their destiny. You know, stuff that was written in the stars before we even came here. Or, you know, things that are just made to end, especially right now in the age of Aquarius. Because so much has been happening in the dark that has come to light. I forgot what the, even the real year is as opposed to what the year they're saying it is as of 2012. You can also do the research of that. So.
<sighs> okay. Oh, feel like pulling cards, um, or anything like that. Um, I just kind of want to get on here and kind of touch up and try to go through everything that I've been <laughs> talking about 